Hey guys, today I'm going to be going over my TBR for the Slay That Series Readathon. This is a readathon that was created by Chami from Read It Like Wildfire. I'll have her video announcement link down below. This is just a readathon to read some series that you've been meaning to get to. It's very laid back, there's no really challenges, just read some series. This readathon takes place from March 13th through the 20th, so it is an eight day readathon. I have four books that I would for sure like to get to and finish during this eight, these eight days. Um, and then I have two books in backup if I finish these other four. If I don't get to the other two though, it's not a big deal. First is A Gathering of Shadows by V.E. Schwab. I don't know why I haven't read this yet. It's been out for like two weeks or so. I really am looking forward to it. I just finished rereading the first book, so there's no reason for me to not read this book. It's pretty large. Um, but I know I re read The Darker Shade of Magic, the first book, pretty quickly, so I don't expect it to take me more than like two or three days at the most. Next is a trilogy, and that is The Oran Trilogy by Midori Snyder. I actually read the first book like two, three years ago, right before I came to California for the first time, and then I started the second book, um, Belden's Fire, and never finished it. I didn't get very far, but I really loved the first book. I thought it was really fun, really great. It's a fantasy series, an older fantasy series that I've never heard anybody talk about and I just randomly had on my bookshelf. Probably my mom gave it to me or I got it from used bookstore. I don't even remember at this point. The first of my backup books is Eyes Like Stars by Lisa Manchev. I actually started this like maybe four years ago, like freshman year of college. I didn't get very far. I own the entire trilogy and I have the entire trilogy here with me in California. And I meant to read it last year as one of my goals and I didn't, um, so hopefully I will get to this. It's a YA fantasy, um, Shakespearean, set around a theater. And my last book is The Girl Who Fell Beneath Fairyland and Led the Rebels There by Catherine M. Valente. This is the second book in her Fairyland series. I read the first book last year, one of my absolute favorite books of 2015. Gorgeous, beautiful book. It's a middle grade uh, fantasy series around this girl named September who goes to Fairyland. Um, they're pretty short. I mean, they are taller books and all, but they're pretty short. But I know the first book did take me a while because it's just kind of a dense read. It's very whimsical like Alice in Wonderland and Peter Pan and those kind of books I can't really read straight through. They take me a bit longer. Absolutely beautiful writing though. I'm so excited for this. The last book in the series I think some comes out this month in March and there's five books I believe. So I'm very behind in the series and I would like to catch up. Um, so this is the only one I own besides the first one so I can't get much farther than this but it's progress. So that's it for my TBR. I might do some Twitter updates. I'm not really sure. I just decided today, the 11th of March, that I was going to take part of this readathon. So I'm not, don't really know my plans. Um, I'm also going to be working and I don't know how much time I'll have to read, but I should hopefully get through at least the first four books. So yeah, let me know if you're going to be participating in this readathon and what books you will be reading. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.